Quick tour update, gang. The State Trashy Tour is a cook, and we're adding shows, and we're coming to a city near you. Bring the squad out and come see us. Yeah, baby. Plus, we got new digs. Woo! Next week, we're going to be in Oklahoma City, Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas, Austin, Texas, Texas. Second show added there. Yeah. Then in April, we're hitting New Haven, Connecticut, Burlington, Vermont. New Second shows added in both those cities. What? Then we're going to Tampa, Florida. Second show added there. There then you go. Dania Beach, Florida, Raleigh, North Carolina, Louisville, Cleveland, Get your tickies now. You snooze, you lose. See you out there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they're good to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. <sighs> I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Toadies in a new edition, baby. Uh, I know. Ooh, the rich get richer. She is spending <laughs> that cut. A couple of Papa John's going to be opening up in the neighborhood soon. <laughs> sure. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman, and he's my best pal in the whole wide world. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, what's up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to rope. Cook it. Oh, and obviously, I don't have to say it in the presence of these guys. The Sweet greatest Lord. website of all time www.patreon.com. Check it the fuck out, gang. It's a party over there. <laughs> Fellow shareholders in the building. <laughs> and gang, how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man, makes mm -hmm. us all look good, works the ones, the twos, the threes, the fours. He crosses the T's, dots the I's, and let's not forget, he's got that big old wee-wee. Uh -huh. Now you can get a peek at him, ladies. <laughs> Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. Hey, what's up, dude? What's Look up, at him back there. Beautiful day out here. I love this dude we got in here. He's been making me giggle for years, yeah. this guy. Yeah. The long hair him. ain't fucking lying, gang. We couldn't be more <laughs> excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest here with us today for mm -hmm. the first time. Of course, he is the host of the Adam Freeland Show. Give it up for Adam Freeland, everybody. Yeah. There he is. The world famous. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, you guys are real pros. You guys are like fucking radio. <laughs> I've we, been doing we, we this shit go. for seven years. I mean, you guys have the catchphrases. And... We go real that morning zoo fucking, on them. That was unreal. <laughs> I feel you, like buddy. I'm outclassed right now. <laughs> I feel like the new boys have like it's like uh when the like the kids in the wire they like come in and sure. like take over the corners. <laughs> yeah. You're, You're like, like Marlo's Frank, crew. Yeah. It's like when Frank <laughs> Lucas gets out of jail in the nineties. Yeah. Like, what the fuck happened in New York? What's Doesn't going on what's going with going these on? new <laughs> these new kids? Why are these bitches shaving their pussies? <laughs> A <laughs> couple it, of young guns come in. It's gay to eat pussy. <laughs> hey, I don't trust it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Buddy, thanks for sitting down with us. Yeah, yeah thanks man. for having me, guys. I you know you're a busy man. You got Congratulations a lot going on. Congratulations on this, on this new setup. It's Thank beautiful. you, brother. Appreciate it. Thank I can't you. stop looking at this picture of you in high school. Yeah. yeah. He's going to take can't. a run at you. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right with it. I don't like it. <laughs> Wife me up. Let's He's go. He's looking right at me, too. I know. It's He's one of those looking pictures directly at me. The, the, the eyes follow you wherever you go. <laughs> it's really looking for lunch meat or something. Jesus Christ, I feel like that picture's going to pants me. <laughs> I feel like you're going to give me a swirly. Make out with your girlfriend yeah. at prom. He's going to finger pop my girlfriend. <laughs> this is what you get for being a nerd. What's up, pussy? What's up, Friedland? <laughs> Dork? <laughs> Push you. How's Hi? your sister doing? She's all right. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked her? Yeah. Damn, dude. She's been to be good to her. Give us the backstory, dude. What's the scoop? Where, where are you, where are you yeah. from? I'm from Vegas. That's crazy. Yeah. Not a lot I'm of people. Shocked off the jump. Local. Yeah. Like born and raised in Vegas? No, I was born in LA. Really? In, uh, Santa Monica. Yeah. See? Oh. And I'm on the now Wikipedia page. Uh -huh. For who? For the hospital I was born at. No Why? shit. Yeah, so the, the only time my dad came even close to saying he was proud of me, he saw my someone told me told him my name was on the Wikipedia. He's like, I can't believe As it. like notable births? Yeah, notable birth. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> who else is on there? Santa Monica's gotta be a couple know. of people. Neil Patrick there. Harris, probably. Yeah, yeah, somebody. Some I don't know. St. John's Hospital. Hold on. So you're born in Santa Monica? Yeah, I'm born in Santa Monica. My parents my parents were my dad was on a list. Yikes. Of enemies <laughs> list of the apartheid regime in South Africa, and that really? they wanted to send him to Angola. I think I knew that they Wait. wanted to send my dad to Angola to the civil war. 
right after my parents got married, so they had to come to America. So he got out while the getting was good. <laughs> while the getting was good. <laughs> so he didn't have to go to the bloodbath in Angola. Your parents are South African. Whoa. My parents are South, were South African Jews. And as hmm. they were often told, they were like, as, if it wasn't for the blicks, it would be you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a real That's, good time over there. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Sounds like a party. <laughs> yeah, it was, I don't know. Yeah, no, my, yeah, my, my family was there for like two generations, one and a half generations, really. And what does your mom and dad do? My mom is a dead woman, and my dad is. How a, long has she been doing that? Uh, three years now. <laughs> Your mom passed away she three years ago. It. Uh, yeah, she passed away three years ago. Uh, I'm she sorry, was like, uh, she. My dad's an architect. Okay. Yeah. So your and, dad's an architect, and then then my family lost all their money when I was four. No, never got back. So Wait, ship, ship that's why beats. we went to Vegas. Yeah. What was what trying to make it all back? Bad deal. What no, happened? They thought because it was like the fastest growing city in America. Uh -huh. And then it's just it, it's kind of they kind of hated it. So what happened? Give us a scoop. Uh, the savings and loan crisis in 1991. In Southern okay. California. My dad was an architect, so he was designing houses in the San Fernando Valley. Okay. And then he hates the Republicans because he blames the Republicans for it. Mm -hmm. He thinks it's Reagan's fault. I would never say that about I would never person. say that about a great man. I would Shout never say that about Reagan. a great guy. Fucking. I was born in 1987, and I, I do take pride in the fact that I was born at the end of the Reagan the administration. The Reagan administration, yeah. Man, I, I, I slept good at night as a little kid. <laughs> I was like, no, thank God. I, was in the I just know that you got another guy on the other end of the phone if something's going to happen. Yeah. You, know. you got the big dog on the line. You got the big guy over there. Yeah. All right, well, I guess we're going to nuke them all. I guess at the end. Nothing on that. What are you, car? He just dropped a Reagan. <laughs> At the end, he was just gone. He huh? was just fully gone mentally. Yeah. Yeah. And um, who was, isn't though? What are sorry, we doing? Right? We had already <laughs> beat the Russians. It I mean, I matter. guess it's whatever. But um, I guess Nancy. I just found this out. Had a psychic <laughs> who was making like state decisions. No shit. Straight up. Yeah. Uh. She had a psychic who was like changing like the times and dates of like state functions and like uh based upon the based premonition upon, or whatever based upon like yeah i don't know the yikes really yeah the, she liked the cocktail from what i understand she right? also she liked, liked the slob. oral sex yeah. as well they really? said she was the super head of yeah. hollywood yeah, no yeah. shit yeah huh shout yeah, but, out to her how do you know that uh, you've been hanging out it with comes <laughs> out it comes out literally every four years on twitter where they're like did you know nancy reagan was a was a throat goat. Yeah. That's what they and call then, it. um, you gotta get on Twitter. You gotta, you every gotta get four Twitter, years, it, there's a day on Twitter where everyone's like, I can't believe it. But it's just like, I don't know. It's been, it's like the thing. It's like Cosby being a rapist. It was like every four years, everyone would be like, and then finally Hannibal said it. And that's like, caught. Yeah. Finally, <laughs> finally, the, <laughs> finally, the federal government. <laughs> just wants Hannibal. <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally the, the government took Hey, there might be something going on here. <laughs> Um, Federal investigation. But yeah, apparently the she goat. she schlobbed all of Hollywood. Yeah. Sinatra, this and that, and the other she thing. Whole gang. Yeah. She used to go. It's well and, documented. She said, uh, "I think she used to go into like Hollywood executives' offices and uh, guck give them the guck guck really guck, guck them off. Oh, we're not gonna have any of this commie talk here. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was a great woman. That's what <laughs> that's what Castro wants you to think. Yeah, um, yeah this is all propaganda. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool that she sucked her way up there. Uh, to the top, you know. Hey, I, I guess women have been doing that. I've been for... trying to do it for fucking a decade. I can't I get anywhere. Us, I'll be blaming Ronnie Riggs for your dad making bad investments. Let's go. No, no, no. So, um, goddamn American here. Yeah. So that happened, and then we moved to Vegas. And Was then... it a significant downgrade well, from the my, house? My from... parents, my parents were D class, so I, I kind of, they kind mean? of still, they kind of still thought that they were. Rich, rich, rich. Yeah. and I was like, "We're not, like, we're not." Which is the class? Which move. is like, I, I kind of, I had some of that growing up. But I was well. like, I was like, "Why are you judging people that are like living in the same apartment complex?" You know? Oh, I mean? right. So it made me really Real have Shit's Creek vibe. have disdain for well, Rit for Rit wealth. Rit yeah, especially like you know, I remember the night before I moved to New York, my I called my dad. And I was like, I'm going to be a comedy star. <laughs> and then he was like, you're going to fail. And I was like, why? And he's like, we don't have connections in show business. <laughs> and I, then I realized that he was absolutely right. Like, <laughs> you don't happen then, to know Ernie Hudson. There are, a ton of, there are a ton of people. I was like, you have to just be the best. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's like, uh, it's a meritocracy. And then there, I got here, and there were a ton of people who yeah, all yeah, who stink, yeah, 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 doing who well, stunk. <laughs> <laughs> and still do. Yeah, my I dad was absolutely right. Yeah. No, no, 
No, you guys built this from you built this temple from the ground up. Hold on, back this up. My yeah. dad owns GE. I don't know <laughs> you know that. Your dad is uh, is Alec Baldwin my, my in 30, yeah, 30 Rock? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, my dad's Jack, Jack Donaghy. <laughs> Jack Donaghy. Jack Donaghy. <laughs> Jack Welsh, good friend of mine. No. Um, hold so, on. Any brothers and sisters? Younger sister. Yeah. How old? Or how, how Four much? years younger to the day. So Same you guys birthday. grew up together. Same birthday. Grew up together. Yeah. All right. And yeah. then, so you're living in Santa Monica until when? How old are you when you move? We moved, well, we moved back to South Africa for a year. You did? After Mandela got out. Holy and then, shit. Because my parents ran out of money, so we had to go back there. No wow. kidding. And then, because the apartheid, my, they couldn't get like all their money out because they just had to leave. So they, had, they still had a little bit of money there. So, so we lived there for a year and a half. I learned how to swim there. So you're, hold on, your parents are over there. That's a weird fact, but all right. <laughs> it was really, it was. Uh, uh, also tried pickles for the first time. <laughs> no, no, it was like, a, it was a traumatic experience. My parents took me to this woman. I still remember her name, Laura something. And she was just this woman wearing jeans and wearing like fishing galoshes. And her philosophy on teaching a four-year-old how to swim was um, sur uh, like survival instinct. Throw you in. Yeah, that's so big. She's now. just fucking throw you, and then I like that free. Like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, she was like just getting bullied. And my dad was like, "Listen to her, listen to her." It was high school. She toilet. knows how to swim. <laughs> Where'd she do this? In a pool or in the ocean? It was like an indoor pool. I still remember it. It was like Jesus. one of my first memories. I wasn't great. Like, <laughs> <laughs> panic! That panic sets in. Yeah, because you, apparently you could do it when a kid is like. A baby? A baby, yeah. and they, it's instinctual. Cause, yeah, because they still think the they're womb. in like, the womb. Yeah, yeah. The womb, so they yeah. flip over. But if you're like, four, you're like, yeah, I'm going like, to die. Get the I fuck know, off me, Laura. I know what dying Ford is. fully clothed. <laughs> yeah, I know what dying is. It's scary to die. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. So yeah. you're living in Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. the, the the loan crisis hits. I don't know. Yeah, my parents, my, my dad had like a... He was like building how like designing houses. Designing houses. Gotcha. And then that went south. Did that, you guys live in a nice house? I don't know. In Santa yeah, Monica? No, we had like a like a townhouse. Like okay, you know, okay. Like, you know, it was nice. And the thing with South Africa, he but, you got out of there because they were gonna they were gonna I mean, conscript I wasn't them there. into the army. Yeah, they wanted to send my dad. My dad was like a hippie in high school. Okay. So they found out he where he thought he was a hippie, but they they found out he did a humanitarian relief project in Swaziland. Or Lesotho. One of the there are these two tiny countries in the middle of South Africa. One okay. of the two, I forget. And then he was on a list, and then they were like, "Oh, you've been selected for a um, reserves program, so we could call you up for any time in the next thirty years." Yikes! To the Jesus. military. So he went to college in London, got out, and studied architecture, and then came back and met my mom. And then they got married, and then they tried to send him to Angola. And he got the fuck out. And my dad, you know, my dad's a real Jane Fonda. You know, he's a real, <laughs> he's, a real he's a real deserter. Yeah, he's a real. He's a real <laughs> but then he went back. You went back there. After then we you went were after his money. He left after, the fucking the score. Was no, there no, any we worry went, that he was going to get yeah. jacked when he was there, or was it all cooled down then? No, Mandela got out, so it was like the new country was starting. Okay. And then Mandela spoke at my grandma's synagogue. Really? Yeah, and she was like, "Tell you," he was like, "Tell your kids to come back," because their whole generation are like Jewish South Africans. That's all how they get got you. the fuck out. Yeah, they're like, "Tell them to come back. We want we want to build this new country with them too." Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so then, yeah, we're they there brought for you a back year. and tried to drown you. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, it was, it was a, a white fucking setup. It was a white lady who was trying to drown. Me. <laughs> yeah. uh, but my grandma still lives there. She lives in Cape Town. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. And so I just went in January to see her, and she's she is also the throat. The throat of of, of South, Africa. South Africa. Yeah, yeah. Your grandma, Blue Mandela. Is? She's a, my my grandma. Yeah, the whole team. The whole squad. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, she's a good lady. I don't know why I said that in public. <laughs> uh, she's a very nice woman. She's divorced. She, she, okay. She, yeah. <laughs> and what was Vegas like? Um, Apartment complex. How many bedrooms? You have how, to share close, a room? how close? How close to like bedrooms, the strip? Are we talking? Two bedrooms. Me and my sister share a room, and then we got when I was fourteen, we got a house. Okay, and like a like tract housing, like a how close to the strip? So it's all like it's like you have you seen the show Weeds? Yeah. So it's like all like um all the houses look the same. Sure. Okay. So it's all like a cookie cutter. Yeah, suburban track. development. Type yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. like the Southwest has a lot of places like that. So mm -hmm. like Phoenix is like that. Sure, like I got that. you. All right. Yeah, yeah, and like Orange County is like that too, and like yeah. okay. Um, 
So yeah, so we're like thirty minutes from the strip. I mean, it's thirty minutes from anything. And anywhere down yeah, there. Yeah. But well, Vegas, was, Vegas was like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it was like, uh, I, I, it was, I don't know. It was like a weird place to grow up. Yeah, did you go to public school, private school, public school, public yeah. school. What yeah. was your parents doing when you were there? Was he still my dad working as an architect? No, my dad was. Uh, he had like a company for a bit, and then you know, he didn't. He he was like. Uh, eventually, he started a magazine with my mom. This was after I. Whoa! This was after I graduated high school. Started a magazine. In college, yeah. They started a Jewish magazine together <laughs> in Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jewish Illustrated. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. The the the. Was ten- it not like uh like local stuff or like just yeah? It was for- like arts and culture and I don't know, fucking know. Yeah, and then it, the ten like just like um real nasty centerfolds. <laughs> <and> just- <laughs> Real spread eagle shit. Yeah, yeah. Just like spread it. And this this situation, you know, this thing. <laughs> just, just, uh, you know, Gloria. Uh, Miss July, Irva Fleischman. <laughs> yeah, Look yeah. out! <laughs> Yikes! Just really, just no, no uh, editing. Just real raw. <laughs> Of no. the time, I think it's called. Yeah, the yeah. We're not doing that airbrush bullshit. Just a lot more. Yeah, cinema verite. Give him yeah. the real feel. Yeah, yeah. I like no it. No touch-up work. Yeah. Uh, and then where'd you go to college? And then I went to school in D.C. Um, and I didn't visit before I went there, but they gave me a lot of money because I, I got good grades. What was what, what you're, So um, you were a good student in high school? I was a, I cheated a lot. Yeah. I respect that. I was a cheater. Yeah, yeah. Cause my parents get? wanted A's, so then I was like, then I'll just try to do the least amount of work to get the A's. Mm-hmm. I respect so, it. So I learned how to cheat. Well, I taught myself how to cheat in middle school. Yeah, because I was like, it's just a game. You just did. Then. You have any any good any any big tactic that you use that you were? Oh, what was your system? There were a lot of different systems. Yeah, I found out that well, Amazon dot com was pretty new at the time. I found out a lot of teachers were just like copying, like f- xeroxing uh, the quizzes from, from like the, the teacher's guide. Uh, no shit. So then I would just buy those. Come on, that's pretty. We have all the smart. answers. That's pretty <laughs> fucking good. I mean, but I I was still like I'd still like take you know the test at the end and be good. But I was just like, it's not worth. I didn't know that you were supposed to like edu- be educated. I got like, you. Learn. Yeah, I'm you were just you. trying to get the score. You're just trying to get the score. Right? Yeah. It was very Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> I got the high school. Very I got, Vegas. I got the points. <laughs> I got the. I thought you wanted the points. Uh, uh, <laughs> any sports uh, in high school? I played. I played baseball up until ninth grade, and then freshman ball is like when you start going to the gym, and my body hadn't changed yet, so. I just couldn't do the weight room and stuff. Yeah, okay. <laughs> my body was I. I was can't a cheat little, in the gym. Baby. I was a bit. Of, <laughs> I was a bit of a late bloomer. Yeah. I didn't have pubes. So full, <laughs> I didn't have a full bush. I, I'll say in ninth grade. They yeah. have a full bush. I there was a, cu- a few stragglers, but yeah. 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 Well, okay. Um, what was the high school mascot? We I went to a magnet high school. Called, what does that mean? <laughs> it's I don't know. You have to like take a test to get in. Oh, okay. And smart kid. Yeah, but like cheating. Cheating, yeah, cheating. okay. Yeah, I just know. It's like, you know, if I want to be a lawyer, I have to get these points. <laughs> I wanted to go to law school. That was like my plan. And I got into law school before I started doing comedy. Nice. But then I went to school in D.C. What school in D.C.? G.W. Ah, G.W., out. good school. I hated it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's just like some of the dumbest, like, like new money tri-state area kids. Okay. Yeah, Ed Hardy was very popular in those days. Sure. And I like everyone, imagine. everyone's like kids had their parents like American Express black cards and stuff. That's crazy. And I was like, I just didn't got feel it. right. I graduated in three years. I I got out early. Damn! Look at you. Because I took um summer because I was like a nerd. No, Were you no, I like in college. No, you couldn't cheat. Well, I did not a little bit, but like no, I just I I realized I wanted to learn. A little and bit. you were in pre law at the time. I did uh politics. I did um. Uh, International politics. Really? Yeah, it's bullshit. Though. Smart kid. No, no, it's dude. What was the GPA it just sounds in high smart. I don't know, like A minus probably. And what'd you do? That's when you're what, in- that's the points. You know? <laughs> 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 Gotta get the points. <laughs> <laughs> that's the points. <laughs> what'd you do on the SATs? 
I did all right. I think I, ours was out of sixteen hundred, so I got fourteen. Oh, Holy! What shit. is that good? You guys yeah, still man, remember that? Stupid. You got an eight eighty. You did eight seventy. Is that for your name? <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get for your name. Yeah, that's what that kid back there. Got. <laughs> that's what you got, dude. Look at that CTE. Look at that CTE stare. Jesus Christ! It's Joe Von Belcher over there. <laughs> Was that guy the the Kansas Chris City Benoit, Chiefs, no, the uh, Kansas City Chiefs? That's the saddest story ever. Well, I don't know that. The one. guy who like killed his girlfriend and then went to Andy Reid's office and committed suicide. <laughs> I don't know. Andy Reid is like um, <laughs> Andy Fatass Reid. I know who he is. Well, you guys are Philly boys. Yeah, that's no? what they used to call him on the so sports radio. He's like, uh, you know, Kelsey Grammer. He like only knows tragedy in his life. Yes. Andy Reid is the same. His, his like sons, his yeah, sons, sons have all killed all himself. Accidents, fucking the, yeah, the, guns, this yeah. guy that was like had like advanced CTE, like kills his girlfriend, maybe the, their infant child, and then goes to Andy Reid's office. Can you imagine a fat, jolly old Andy <laughs> Reid just watching? Hey, come on, in. hey, Lenny, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Boom. How he's yeah. doing? He does like State Farm commercials now. Yeah, yeah he's I mean, killing it. he's just like Kelsey. He's like apparently Kelsey Grammer. Everyone he's ever loved has died. Yeah, he went through a real tough time. And he's just like he was apparently on the set of Frasier, and he was just in a like a drug, like a stupor, like uh, like, like this. And then they say action. And be like Niles. I can't believe. Yeah, you know, I, saw, I saw that like exact magic. interview with the guy. I think yeah, it yeah. was. Uh, Matt Williams or somebody like that. It, w it was some famous uh, Hollywood writer that told that story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he would just snap into it. It'd be all fucked up and then just snap into it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. fucking professional uh -huh. right there. Uh -huh. uh, Kip, let's talk about Blue Chew. Uh, knock, knock, who's there? My heart on. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Listen, let's be honest. Uh huh. All right, you start, I, I, I'm fucking 400 pounds. You start getting older. Things don't work the way they used to down there. It's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. And if you need a little boost, yeah. if you need a little pep in the step in the boudoir, yeah. do yourself a favor. Get some blue chew. They should be calling these things high school. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, uh, standing at 10 and 2, you know Look, what I mean? hanging laundry on this thing. <laughs> Gang, it's fantastic. That sounds weird, me saying that, but it is. It's <laughs> fantastic. Do yourself a favor. Get over to Blue Chew. It's ED treatment delivered right to your door. You don't got to go talk to your uh, pediatrician or whoever you talk to. <laughs> I don't think pediatricians are allowed. Guys, it's the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitch at a fraction of the cost. Yeah. Uh, listen, personal endorsement. This stuff works. Go <laughs> check it out. <laughs> I'll back that up. <laughs> <laughs> and so did she. Be prepared for a good time anytime. Blue Chew wants to help you have Better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> That's all right. And they got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you using promo code garbage at checkout, just paying $5 for the shipping. Uh, that's bluechew.com, promo code garbage to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring the podcast. We love yous. Do it. Boy, yeah, young. Kip, let's talk about Lucy, baby. Oh, uh, Lucy Goosey, shout out to him. The nicotine pounce that's changing the goddamn game. I don't use that crap that I used to use. Now I'm a Lucy man. Yeah. Delicious flavors. It's absolutely fantastic. Do yourself a favor, get Lucy. They got whatever you need. They got espresso, berry, mango, whatever you want. They got available in different strengths. You're able to choose the amount of nicotine that you want, baby. I don't like it too strong. You don't like it too Just something to take the edge off. Lucy's yeah. here to help, man. And like I said, visit Lucy.co, L-U-C-Y.co, and use promo code GARBAGE to get 20% off your first order. Shipping is always free. That's Lucy, L-U-C-Y.co. Promo code GARBAGE to receive 20% off and always free shipping. Lucy products are only... For adults of legal age, and every order is age verified. Warning: This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Yeah. Back to the Friedland. Yeah. Right, Jesus. Right. Damn. Yeah. I've never All really, I've never really talked this much about. I mean, like on Come Town, we just say that my dad was a rollerblading. Gay guy. <laughs> sure. Which I don't want to take away from. No, I mean this was. is like I don't know. This feels this feels like like inside the actor's studio or something. <laughs> this feels like, I feel like I'm on Marin right now. <laughs> Uh, what was a family vacation like growing up? We just go to our grandparents' house in in San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> we would just go to our grandparents' house. Really? Yes. It huh. was. They had a pool. I guess. I don't was know. your mom from South Africa too? But both my parents yeah. were from Cape Town. Yeah. How did so one set of grandparents, your dad's grandparents, stayed? 
And my dad's mom stayed. His parents were divorced, but everyone else, everyone came to the states. Everyone split. Everyone came to the states. Yeah, All Southern right. California. So you had grandparents. Did you have extended family in Southern California as well? Yeah, cousins in like and San shit? Diego, LA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we had cousins. My parents were the first to come over, and then everyone basically followed. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. They like. I mean, it's like Southern California is kind of like Cape Town. It's like. It's, it's this is that true? Is isn't it? apartheid? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's just there's the beach, you know. Sure, oh, you, you can cut that. That's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say that? You know, the, it's fantastic. <laughs> the weather, the weather uh, is <laughs> very <laughs> comparable. <laughs> they like Sydney and LA. Um, um, yeah. So I don't okay. know. So yeah, but if growing up in Vegas was weird. I mean, I remember when there were kids. I we used to do weed and stuff, and then I remember sure. kids you started doing meth. That's a big and, jump. Talk and about I was a like, drug. I remember Jesus we were Christ. just no, like like the white trash girls in high school, like senior year, were doing, doing meth. meth. And I was like, we're just kids. Why are we doing this? Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking hard. We're hardcore. just kids. Yeah, I mean, it's just like middle America. It was pretty boring. Sure. And I remember also that there's like. Girls like senior year, you could start dancing. You could start uh, stripping at eighteen. Oh. So they'd be in our class, but also strippers. And I'd be like, "Wow, but whoa, are you <laughs> still waiting on the pubes to come yeah. in? <laughs> this is weird. Yeah. Come on, That's, I didn't even think of that. That's yeah. crazy. I remember there was a one girl that started." Dancing and then a bunch of kids in my what? class went to go see her dance. Of course. In retrospect, that's it's really fucked up. It's yeah, fucked it's up. Weird. Just a bunch of guys be like, ah, oh, <laughs> man. It's kind of a weird place to grow up. I yeah. can imagine. Uh, but I kind of like it now. I kind of like being from like a weird place. Does your dad still live there? My dad still lives there. Yeah, yeah. It's the same house you grew up in. Same house. He's got to move, but same house. Yeah. Okay. I told him to downsize. He's our family home, but whatever. What was uh, what was the grocery store that you guys went to out there? Just uh, Albertsons, just the, you know, respectable regular. establishment. Yeah. All right. Do we have Albertsons out here? No. Uh, it's, no. it's Albertsons. Vaughn's. Acme owns yeah, that. Yeah. It's like that's like the East Coast version. Of Vaughn's it. and Albertsons is where we go. And Smiths. Hmm. Yeah, just the regular ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which is sports. the deli counter. <laughs> what uh? What kind of car were your parents whipping around in? My dad. We had the. We had. A, I remember during the Firestone Tire incident, we had a Ford Explorer. Mm-hmm. We almost died. <laughs> Wait, what was the Firestone tire? Do you tire? remember that yeah. all the tires on oh, Ford Explorers recall. were, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, were exploding? Uh-huh. <laughs> and everyone hear- had that car. Everyone. Everyone in America had that car. Yeah. I remember being a, like a child, like eight or seven, just yeah. like petrified that the car was going to explode. Yeah, it was like, yeah, we had one of those, and then my mom had a Honda. Okay. okay. I think, yeah. Respectable. Yeah. What was a pet situation? A cord. What? A pet? Pets. No, no pets. Just no pets at all. No, they make a mess. Yeah. Really? My Nothing. parents are neat freaks. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They, they keep saying, they keep lying like they get us a pet. Like, oh, if you do like good, as a, if you're a good boy, you'll get one of them. And you never knew got they it. were liars. <laughs> you lying, lying sack of shit. <laughs> I got a pet, though. I got a pet, though, as a revenge, as an adult. What'd you get? Cat? A murder dog. A I got murder? a pit bull from Best Side. Really? <laughs> do you I, have it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. You got a dog? I doggy? found her on the street. No shit. Yeah. Her is name it... is Isis. <laughs> no, no. Her name dog, was Isis. No, no. It was a guy who was giving her away oh, on the street. Okay. Yeah. He was, was like, I was breeding her at my grandma's house to to give birth to fighting dogs. But now, she, now she's homeless. So she was like a sad, she was like a teen whore. Aww. Who got knocked up and then she was like, My puppies were taken away from me. You took her off the street. Yeah. yeah made a made a made an honest I made girl a out hoe of her. into a house. Yeah. There you but go. But now she's like lives with a Jewish guy. So she's like thinks she is in a comfortable place in life because she pulled herself up by her boots. Sure, sure. She, yeah, yeah. sure. Driving around in her Mercedes <laughs> passion judgment. Yeah, yeah, people. yeah. She thinks she's better it. than everyone else, but she just found a, a nice man. Uh huh. A nice Jewish <laughs> a nice guy. Jewish boy to take care of her. Well, yeah, but it, it, it does look pretty funny for me to be walking around with like a murder at, weapon on me. <laughs> like just just a vicious murder. <laughs> oh, hello, boy. <laughs> just for me, like just me, just walking around Brooklyn. Do you I mean, go out with, do you have, she has like spikes around her collar no, and stuff I don't like that? Do like that no but she got in a terrible terrible fight when i first got her terrible fight like um like bloody gory fight and then like we we lived in like clinton hill in brooklyn so like no you know it was all these like white people like make it stop like i don't know like what what, uh, make it stop and i was like i don't know i've never had dogs i just got this dog a week ago (laughs) i just found it i don't know and then like there was like a like a bagger vance like a ghost appeared and he was like you want to get them to stop fighting 
you put a you put a fi- your finger, finger in the do dog's that? ass. And I did it, and then she let go immediately. No shit. Which is great. I didn't know that. Did and then he a- disappeared. <laughs> 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 then he went back. <laughs> he went back to the antebellum <laughs> south or wherever. Yeah. You want to get them boys? Did to the stop other dog get hurt? What? Did the other dog get hurt? <laughs> she fucked up. <him. laughs> the other dog was bigger than her, and also pitbull, and also fucked with her. But she got. She's very. She was scared and defensive, and then, and then she she snapped. Did yeah. the other couple start beef with you? I mean, the no, it was fine. Okay. Yeah, I I guess it. Was, I was like, I'll pay for your. Your dog's funeral, but <laughs> <laughs> I think the other dog was fine. I think, but it's I'll crazy. come by and do a song. Bro. Yeah, I'll, I'll play a song on acoustic. I'll play a, uh, a candle in the wind <laughs> <laughs> on the keyboard. Like <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, okay. how about you as a kid? Any injuries? No, it's too safe. Too 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 careful. Have you ever broken any bones? Just my pinky toe. Really? Multiple what? times. Just hitting it on the corner yeah, of yeah, the coffee table got you. <laughs> Just okay. indoor. Sure. <laughs> Tough guy. I like it. <laughs> I got Getting my mail, I got know. my heart broken. <laughs> I wear it on my sleeve. I, they they put me on the DL for uh, broken heart. I was day to day. That's all right. Yeah, zero pussy till eighteen. What else you got? Uh, <laughs> any more brain busters? All, all right. right. What else you got? Ever been arrested uh, as a kid? I got pulled over for marijuana, and my dad had to pick me up. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was bullshit. <laughs> that guy was a bad. that guy's a dickhead. That cop, Vegas cop. Listening. He was a fucking highway patrolman out of jurisdiction on the surface streets, and he d- actually didn't see the weed at all. That's law school. He pay. saw yeah, that right I got. There. He saw that I got a fucking. I had a hookah. I was going over to my boy's house to smoke hookah. Jesus. And uh, he's like, I know what that, weed. Like- he's like, I know what that is. That's a bong. No, but I was so high when I was driving. I was so high. And then, um, yeah, so then he saw it. He was like, I know what that is. And he made me do like a field sobriety, but I was just, I wasn't drunk. So I was like passing everything. And then, yeah, my, then my dad had to pick me up and tell me that, I don't know, that I, that his immigration wasn't worth it. And, I <laughs> and then I'm a bad you know what boy. I got on the, you know what I got on the line here? And I ruined I could have been working on the front lines right now. Yeah, yeah. To dealing with you. Yeah. All right. First concert. Um, I went with my parents when we lived in South Africa when I was a little kid. We went to go see Paul Simon. Whoa. But that's when he was doing. Wait, that like epic Graceland. Paul Simon? Yeah, no yeah. shit. Yeah, with Lady Smith Black Mombasa. Damn. I was a little kid. I've seen footage of that concert. I had a piss the whole time. <laughs> I remember, and they were like, shut up. Stop. Joint. I remember I kept getting it. I would get in trouble the whole time. <laughs> I would get in trouble and then try to argue my way out. I was one of those kind of fuckers. I was okay. not, I was a little bastard. Um but then to my first concert, like I think I went to like a like ska concert. Uh, Here we like go. no name bands? I saw this band the Toasters and the Aquabat. <laughs> I feel toaster. embarrassed. I, I'm only embarrassed to say this because a fucking Ian acts like it's still good, like good music, because mm-hmm. he's like trapped in childhood. <laughs> he told me when I, we got Ernie Hudson on the show, he's like, D- "I have a proton pack, and I'd love to take a picture with Ernie." I was like, "Ian, grow up! <laughs> what are you, a four year old?" Uh-huh. <laughs> There's something that's keeping him there. Man, how sick of that shit is Ernie Hudson? Do you think? <laughs> I, I asked him. I, I asked. Who him, are you gonna call, Ernie? <laughs> I asked him on the show. I was like, "What do you? You must be sick of nerds." I was like, "You're a cool guy. You yeah. got these freaking nerds coming up to you like your whole life, probably." Yeah. And he's like, "They're nice. They're nice people." And I was like, "No, no they suck." Yeah, Just give us the dirt, Ernie. Give us the real. He deal. said he went to dinner with some couple, and the 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 husband converted a Cadillac into the Ghostbuster mobile. Whoa. And his wife had to go to the fucking grocery store and shit. Oh, driving that it? shit. Yeah. I was like, that's fuck that's, that's, just that's a awful. Dick move. I yeah. like the Ghostbusters, but that's going pretty far. That's God just, damn. No, there's just like that guy suffered a horrific trauma. Yeah. Around the time <laughs> Ghostbusters <laughs> came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he is frozen. <laughs> uh-huh. <He's laughs> he is there. frozen. Yeah. Hey, you gotta describe him my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, how old were you the first time you had lobster? Uh, I don't know. An adult, probably. Okay. Lobster? No, yeah, probably an adult. An yeah. adult. Did you have milk with dinner growing up? 
No, no, that's for non-Jews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember I had Mormon friends in high school and they had King's Hawaiian rolls at their house. Ooh. And I was like, I was like, non-Jews have the best food. At <laughs> Which I just ate like a hundred King's Hawaiian they're rolls. So good, dude. They're so good. <laughs> I had, Very similar to challah bread. Yeah, it is like a brioche yeah. kind of thing. Sweet. Mm. Yeah. Very nice. King's Hawaiian. I grew, there are a lot of Mormons in Vegas. I grew up with a lot really? of Mormons. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Um, Were you guys practicing uh, Jewish or just like culturally? I mean, I got a bar mitzvah and stuff. Yeah. I mean, What'd yeah, you pull we in like, on the bar mitzvah? Uh, cash wise. wise. That shit was stolen. Really? Your parents took it? My parents are like, oh, we're putting this away for your future. Never yeah. got it. I never saw that. Shit. All right. I respect that. That's a that's a very Catholic <laughs> move right there. Yeah. I, I'm, I've never seen that. We yeah. have communion on our side. We never see a dime of that money. Oh my god! But the that's Jewish a kids usually clean up. That's a, that the the ones whose parents. Do you remember what you pulled in though? <laughs> I don't remember at all. Ten no. G's, five G's. I don't remember it. See, literally, I do not remember that. Like literally, the checks just went in a drawer. <laughs> Damn. Adam, literally. thanks you very much. <laughs> 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 To made out to your dad. Yeah, my par- I mean, my friends like my friend David. He his parents were like in the subprime uh, grift. Okay. In, in, in growing up in Vegas, he had his bar mitzvah. He he got a white tuxedo with tails. <laughs> Pretty sweet. And he had it at the Four Seasons. And his mom and dad got him like motivational dancers mm-hmm. to like like sexy girls to dance with like a thirteen year old boy. Really? That was we big like, in the bar mitzvah. They got it they literally got us like whores. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but just a thirteen year old Jewish boy. Some chick from like, your school. This is the best night of my life. Uh-huh. No, adult women. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty four year old women. Chicks that were down and out. Like <laughs> dancing for us. <laughs> no, like hot They girl. didn't get a fourteen hundred in the SATs, I'll no, tell you they that did much. Not. They did oh, not. That's yeah. some yeah. diamond. Can I get just some more punch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a weird place to grow up. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, hmm. How many suits do you own? Um. Well, I have one that I wear on the show. That's sure. my dad's old suit. Okay. okay. From he got it in the eighties, I think. Um, and then I think I have a blue one. I have two other ones. Okay. Yeah. Can you tie a tie? Yeah. For sure. You I did speech and debate in high school, so I had to learn how to do it. Look at you. Yeah. I didn't right. learn until after court? college, probably. Yeah. Until court. Until <laughs> <laughs> till, till, till you try to get your till kids I back. Until <laughs> I defended myself in traffic court. Until <laughs> Nana died. <laughs> uh, what was the job situation growing up? Did you have any jobs? Pizza uh, place, anything like that? I, I no, I worked in, uh, I like would work at like summer camp. I worked at summer camp. Like for little kids when I was like uh, between in the summers, but I would I would go to Jewish summer camp. It's Jewish big. summer to Jewish get summer pussy. Camp's huge. Because yeah. I wasn't getting pussy in regular high school, so I'd go there. Start closing deals, and then girls would girls would Jamie. Oh, really? Yeah. Were you getting laid at summer camp? Yeah, it's a completely different hierarchy. No kidding. You can't imagine how free you feel to play basketball. Oh, Just right. like so much heart. Just like my entire soul. You're coming down the court call now, play. Just like, yeah, just like. <laughs> you got just, the confidence? Swish, swish, swish. <laughs> I saw, like, I saw. Just ISO. out of general population, it's incredible. Basket was four feet. It is incredible. Everyone's dunking. <laughs> Everyone's yamming. The passion on display. All right. I respect it. I respect Tears that. in my eyes. Absolute master class. <laughs> Jordan Fleischman. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, let's talk about Rocket Money. Rocket Money! Let's talk about getting jammed up with a bunch of subscriptions that you don't even fucking know about, and they're still coming at you, mm-hmm. taking money out of your checking account That's how they that get you, you could be using for all different kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Rocket Money's about to put the clamp on that, and as you know, Rocket Money, formerly known as True Bill, they go, they check your subscriptions, you can 86 them right there. It's a good time. Yeah, it's all in one place. You can cancel what you don't need to get rid of. Uh, the cat snack box you signed up for eight months ago, you, you, the ramen of the month subscription, uh, whatever you got. You might keep that one. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to it. Uh, you save yourself a ton of cash. Uh, I did. I found out I was I was subscribed to some movie thing that I signed up for once about 18 months ago, and they've been fucking wet in their beat the whole time. Save T-Bone a couple of bucks, too. I, I know. Uh, to end the subscription, just press cancel. Rocket Money takes care of the rest. No need to log in, sign in, bada-bee, bada-boop. You get rid of 
useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash garbage. Seriously, it could save you hundreds of dollars a year, and who don't need a couple of bucks in their pocket this day go. and age? That's rocketmoney.com slash garbage. Cancel your unnecessary subscriptions right now. Rocketmoney.com slash garbage. Now back to the show. Back to the show. Uh, uh, huh. Any timeshares in the family? Uh, I don't know. What is a timeshare? You own like part of a house. You, yeah, you like you get a house think, every, twice think, a twice a year. I think my grandparents had one at some point. They were big back in the eighties and nineties. They're still yeah, kind of yeah. big. It was like a scam, right? Kind. It's not not a scam. You go and way. then they say, "Oh, we'll give you like a free." You go. They go. Thing, you, yeah, right? you go. Uh, hey, come. You, you just get have a free to weekend. Listen. You just have to listen to yeah, this yeah, three hour yeah, pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you go, and then it's like, hey, for eight hundred bucks. A year or whatever, you get yeah. to use this place twice a, twice a year. I'll say this. There's a lot of lawyers now that advertise if you're jammed up in a timeshare, call me and out. I'll get you out. Yeah, yeah. So. It, was, it was predatory, for yeah, sure. For it was sure. like put it on a credit card. Yeah, yeah. Like that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. What's the Mayo situation? Hellman's, Mayonnaise? Miracle Whip? Hellman's. Hellman's. Yeah. Costco. We're Costco everything. You're Costco family. Costco Vegas. Family. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Makes Costco sense. Uh, anyone in your family still have an AOL email address? No. No, okay. fast. Let's go. <laughs> no, my no, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ever have quail eggs? I've had them. Yeah, yeah. Really? I've had them. My girlfriend. My girlfriend is uh, she cooks good. She cooks like she's like gourmet. Hmm. Really? She does really nice stuff. Respectable. Yeah. Gourmet. All right. She's hot. <laughs> <laughs> she jays me up. She's big. <laughs> big. I met her at camp. <laughs> no, I was she's, Duncan. She's barely Jewish. It's really nice. Uh, you got? You ever buy any products as seen on TV? I wanted. I I for some reason I wanted the Foreman Grill so oh, bad. You didn't have you never one? had one? No, no. That I, became a no, no. We got one. We got product. one. We got one. Okay. But I would watch it on TV and I'd be like, Dad, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> like you're a, a mean fucking burger. idiot. I was like, it knocks out the fat. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? I was like, what is wrong with you? Yeah. Like this is gr- this will be good for our family. <laughs> I don't know why I was bring like, us together. I yeah. wanted the Foreman Grill Dude, so it was, yeah. it was game changer. The Showtime rotisserie never hit like that for me. Really? Are you a roto guy? You like a rotisserie chicken? I just like that guy, Ron Pope. Shout Ron, out to Ron Pope. Is he alive? You do? Yeah, he's still yeah. kicking. Ron Co? Dude. Yeah, we just Are did you a whole kidding me? We just did a whole Patreon episode pretty much on his back. Really? Yeah, yeah, Dude yeah. sold fucking merch. Worth a couple hundred million that Ron Pope. What a guy. Yeah, Those shout out to him. What a guy. What a life. It's an American dream right <laughs> What <there>. a life. <laughs> he always had that dumb broad with him. We couldn't figure anything out. Yeah, yeah there was always someone juggling. Stuck yeah. in the curtains Dropping, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah those idiots. Those women. <laughs> <laughs> those, these women. Uh, have you ever gone ghost hunting? No. Okay. No. Come on. With have ghosts. you ever? You I mean, don't believe course. in ghosts? Jews? No. Nothing? No. I mean, you know. Was... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> At your bar mitzvah, they tell you, hey, listen, no, uh, there's no, no ghosts. ghosts. If you give me 12 Just grand so you know, now, there's no ghosts. No ghosts. I remember I, my parents told me there was like, by the way, you know, because I'd watch everyone so happy at Christmas. Now I do Christmas with my girlfriend's family. Oh, really? A whole but, what they say? And I was like, I was like, everyone looks so happy, guys. Like, this sucks. And they were like, there's no Santa. No oh. shit. Pulled you aside. They were like, huh? just fucking tell all your fucking friends there's no Santa. Gave you the real deal. And That's diabolical. Like, Jesus. Whatever. That's Would you awesome. guys go to the movies on Christmas Day? Uh, Yeah, I think so. Go to the movies, get a little Chinese? I think we'd go to the movies, yeah. All we'd right. Go to the movies. That's a pretty classy movie. I remember me and my friend in high school, we used to do the deal where you get like a 11 a.m. matinee. You see like four movies. Yeah. Like that was the best day. Yeah. I kind of miss those times. I was always jealous of it. Not a thing to do. There's, they're so nice. You just check the newspaper for the the mm-hmm. show times. Mm-hmm. Like, we're going to hit Crouching Tiger, then we're going to hit, you know, whatever. Sure. Soul Plane. There you go. Shout out to it. <laughs> Double header, baby. Great movie. Uh, do you sneak snacks into the movie theater? Of course. Yeah. On, do man. you stop at snacks or will you go crazy? Will you we, take food in? We, we take backpack Tupperwares. Really? Really? Yeah, we're bad boys. No, I mean, we were just broke high school kids, and we'd like sure. steal food from our moms. Will you do that now, though? No, come on. Do no. you steal now? Will you take something from the airport? CVS, Dwayne Reed. Sometimes at the airport. Sometimes at the airport, just to feel. Yeah. Just to feel it. Everybody does it, man. Everybody I don't know why, steals. but it's just free. That's the rule, right? Shady. I think, man. I think. They're... I worry about getting jammed up by TSA. That's ain't TSA. You're, it's after there. TSA. Yeah. 
I don't know. Who, who, who's also, you're afraid of a guy in TSA? Who's jurisdiction? I don't want to get jammed who's up and not get on the flight. Who's jurisdiction? <laughs> you're out of jurisdiction. <laughs> this is international waters. It's the international terminal, goddammit. Why do you have a hookah on you? Uh, have you ever bought or sold anything on Craigslist? Oh, yeah, for sure. Really? Would yeah. you sell and or buy? So many things. Really? Yeah, yeah. That was a big big platform for I you. I remember in college, we were in a dorm that they had a TV in. And the TV was half broken, and we sold the college's property TV <laughs> and bought a nicer TV. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. I like that. That's yeah, a yeah. scam. People are doing that now with the monitors at like McDonald's and Taco Bell. Are they? They're selling them as TVs, and you get it to the house, and it just says it's like just has the menu. Just has on the it. menu on it. That's it's like it's so like hardwired. They like it's hardwired to so the software, yeah, or whatever. Awesome. You have to hack it. Yeah, and... so you plug it in, and it's just like the fucking dollar menu. <laughs> that is so. Which good. I wouldn't mind. Just I having love one that of those show. In here. I love that show. <laughs> That is a good restaurant. <laughs> have you ever owned Skechers? No. Come on. Have Just you? Ask I'm you. trying to get laid, dude. <laughs> what are those that you're rocking right now? These? Yeah, those it's like, like uh, those are the Birkenstocks. Ooh. I got them for Christmas for my girlfriend's mom. There you go. I celebrate Christmas now, by the way. <laughs> you do a tree at the house? We had one. We had a mini tree last year. I, I, it is, it is so cool. It is so good. Christmas is all right. I've isn't only it? had it for like two, three years. It is, it is the best thing ever. Yeah, it's a good time. I was so jealous of it my whole life. It's a good time. I remember, like, my first one. I was the night, like, thirty-three years old in bed. Like, I can't wait to wake up for <laughs> presents. <laughs> so fucking awesome. Tomorrow. See this fat motherfucker sneaking in. <laughs> I can't. Did you get Hanukkah presents growing up? No. I got like really? a check. On like day one, I'd get like a check for like twenty five dollars or something. And then I don't know where it went out. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you sign this over to me? I'll deposit it for you. <laughs> don't feel bad. I'm telling you, I was always jealous of my Jewish friends that went out and went to the movies and had Chinese food on on. Christmas I mean, it, day. that's a nice day. It's a good time. But I did that more in like after I moved here to New York. Okay. Yeah, I've lived here for like eight years, but. That it's that week in New York is the best. Week. It's awesome, it's fucking awesome. Like for Christmas to New Year's, because the city is like half empty. Yeah, it's kind of shut down. You don't but really it, there's have like a really nice vibe. Yeah, yeah everyone's great vibe. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, hey, how you doing? A little. Bit? Every bar is like half full, and yeah. you have the best night. They got yeah. the decorations up, the yeah, lights yeah. and stuff it's like really, that. It's really, really great week. Yeah, here. they yeah. do shabby. Yeah. I love it. Might mm. be onto something. Um, ever break out the acoustic guitar at a yes. party? No. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Really? Have you? Sure. You have a go-to song you would play? Oh, you stink. <laughs> really? <laughs> Not at a party explicitly. But yeah, but I kind of... You've shown off. You've flexed. I've shown a girl... Yeah, or maybe like a couple girls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not for a while. But well, yeah, what kind of I, I, um, I really love to. Can play. you play well? No, but I love. <laughs> I love to play, and sing. Do you have an acoustic guitar at your house now? Yeah. Is it out like like on a stand? Uh, I I have two guitars. You yeah. Do. Yeah, yeah. Any of them on and the wall? Like, no, no. Come All on, right. that's that's tacky. Come on. <laughs> Wait, who He's not I? new money. Who right? am I fucking uh, Eddie Van Halen? <laughs> I have it on the wall. What is this, a hard rock cafe? <laughs> That's pretty good. Why would I have it on the wall? Let me ask you this. <laughs> if someone not extremely close to you, but an associate, if one of us, if we... If we a re Capo Reggiano? <laughs> what do you mean an associate? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the fucking... <laughs> An associate, <laughs> not like a super tight. Someone friend. you may or may not know. Okay. Let's okay. say, let's say you and I run into each other at one of the clubs, yeah, and yeah. if I had a booger or bad breath, would you tell me? Probably, yeah. Good man. We're guys. I All mean, right. Like, we're guys. Right? We're dudes. We're men. I respect. Yeah, that's how it. guys act, right? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you got a fucking booger on your face. Bro. I like it. Just wipe your shit. Yeah. I like it. Your dick is hanging out of your pants. <laughs> right now. Just, come on. I mean, we're fellas. No judgment. Uh, anyone in your family have a standalone hot tub? Just a hot tub. We do. Really? We had do. One. We had one in our backyard. No kidding. In high school, yeah. Was it always operational? No. Or, yeah, right. It, it, was the, out, it, was it always, always falls to the wayside. My, and my dad was like, I'm going to get it right this year. <laughs> it's the same house. So is it still there? It's still there. Just still sitting. work? No, it's just sitting. Oh, okay. That's yeah. a tough one. I tough remember one. I, when I got my first, one of my first girlfriends, I tried to have froggy style sex in it. 
What's you're, froggy style, Zach? You know, in the pool. Just okay. in the tub. All right. Boing, boing. More of a tad hole <laughs> myself. But. A lot froggy. of flies around. You guys, <laughs> you guys you know, you find a lily pad? You guys have up. never had froggy style? <laughs> Froggy I'd froggy. never heard it. He uh, said it, and you co I'm like, well, fro- you what know, am I, a prude here? You know, I assume you meant having sex in a hot tub. So yeah, I'm just clarifying, there's a lot of people out there listening. And I also so assumed like he wasn't thing. very good at sex. <laughs> no, <laughs> Called it awful. froggy style. Dude, dog shit at sex. Oh, terrified of sex. Uh, yeah. I still am. I think I'm less scared, but still bad. <laughs> yeah, I never said I was good. <laughs> <laughs> Will you... Get a burger at a Mexican restaurant. No. Come I'd on. recommend it. They're always fucking a home <laughs> really? run. I like Just a sit down at a sit down Mexican restaurant. Yes. Okay. If they have like a burger with like. It's shit. always a home run. I'm telling you but right now. But what kind of patty? Because I have a very specific philosophy on burgers. Lay it on us. I don't like a restaurant patty. Okay. I don't like a thick patty. Really? I, I don't like disagree a, with you. I like a. Uh, Are you a smash burger guy? I like a, pota- a potato bun, minimal toppings. Okay. American cheese, potato bun, yeah, like a flat patty, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe white onion. Okay. And, and minimal. Yeah, I don't like a, like a fucking aioli. Keep it simple. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think it, that's a way better burger. Maybe okay. you are Jewish. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like. I just want a little raw onion. I just. I mean, I used to go to fucking Applebee's and Chili's with my family growing up, and that Shout was the, out to it. that was the kind of burger you get. You get the restaurant. Mm-hmm. Burger, yeah. The the, pa- the fucking the bun, bottom bun never. The bottom bun never lasts. Never. It's just it never works. No, well here's the it thing. I, I, I'm furious right now. Here's the thing. If you are say you're you have that restaurant style burger, you're at yeah. an Applebee's, you're eating good in the neighborhood, whatever yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. you know. You take the bite. Do you place it back down on the bottom or do you invert it and sit it on the top? That's smart. You go. That's you, smart. I never even thought. Yeah. Of that. And do you keep cut, the into- the structural integrity of the bottom bun. Do you Look. cut your burger in half? You cut it in half. You do? I do. Gentlemen. I, I, I copied my dad. Dad cuts it in half. My dad is he's a real foppish dandy. <laughs> <laughs> I like He it. has pinky up, cuts it in half. All right, I'm going to give you that. Hmm. Try the Mexican burger. I'm telling you it's phenomenal. I'll try it. I'll try it. How, how many... I love a table side guacamole. Oh, that that is a real pleasure in life. When really? they hook it up in, at the table, seeing a guy make you a guacamole, yeah. you feel like a real prince. They got the mortar. And you feel like, out. oh my god! Yeah. I never You're like, oh my do. god! I'm the queen of England I, right I, now. More salsa. Up, I end up saying thank you twelve times. I say thank, thank you. Oh, thank, every time I they, say they thank they you. Put tomatoes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I say oh, thank, thank you. you. I, no, I'm always like, so I act surprised. I'm always like, what? I wow. would hate to do that. You got to be on your game all the time. But it really stuff. is a nice feeling. Real it nice. Is. You, you have a guy fancy. do it. Do it. You feel really fancy. Yeah, that and the Caesar salad when they do. The I Caesar feel like salad. a captain of industry. Ooh. Yeah, I like the Caesar salad at the table. Too. Clean living. Mm-hmm. Hmm. How many emails would you say you get a week? Oh, like 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 from like a me being on a not un- unsubscribing from things. Yes, I have like. F- Five thousand unread. Really, I'm a mess. My Ooh. email's a mess right now. I'm but it's but it's all because I just don't unsubscribe. Like I just like yeah. The fucking New York Times will, like won't leave me you know alone. They got a lot of balls too when you go to look at something and they say you got to sign up for that. Give me a fucking break. Yeah. Let me take a peek at the article. How many email addresses do you have? I try to keep it to one. Okay. I try to keep it. That's to one. respectable. But then. I don't like, yeah, I don't like merging different email addresses. I'm very sloppy. I'm a very sloppy guy mm-hmm. as do an adult. You, do you say goodbye to places? Like if you places? Like say you like and your the girl. World trade <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean a place? Say you and your girl are at like an Airbnb <laughs> or a hotel. When you leave, do you say goodbye hotel? Thank you. No. No? Right. Wait, wait, what is that? Eesh, <laughs> 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 Goodbye hotel. It's what a nice is thing that? It's like, it's, it's, it's like good night moon. Yeah. <laughs> you act like there's not going to be another guy in there in good fucking night, two hours. Man. Whatever. It's a nice thing to do. <laughs> it's a nice thing to do. <laughs> All right. I'll give you classy on that one, though. Yeah. That I know is that's nice. Right. It's so sweet. But I love it. That is so sweet. Thank you. It's really nice he to is. the building. We, <laughs> the, I'm we, sure the architect loves it. Will you talk to strangers at a hotel bar? Uh, will you strike up a convo? No, I don't think so. I do. I I guess maybe I talk to strangers more than most people. Hmm. But I have kind of just fuck with people. Really? I like, but not like in a mean way. Like, I'll you. just make up an insane lie. 
Huh. Yeah, I'd be like, you know, I'm fucking coming in uh, Pittsburgh for a volleyball tournament. <laughs> like, They're like, oh, they got, got a good one. squad this year. <laughs> got a great team this yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's crazy, but For okay. no reason. Yeah, I don't know. I used to do that way more when I was younger. Yeah. Will you send people Venmo requests? No. Come good on. man. No. Tacky. You I open like your it. eyes underwater. Uh, yeah. Okay. You take the customer receipt? No. Good man. No. Have you ever saved a Crown Royal bag? <laughs> no. Okay. Are you flying up front mostly, or you, you go you go and coach? coach? You do coach. Yeah. Take your shoes off on the plane? Yes. You do. Yeah. You bring food good. on the plane? No. Good man. Put your seat back. I mean, sometimes I'll bring like a like a snack from Hudson. News. That's okay. A dry That's snack. Okay. A package. Seat snack. Back, Not like a tuna sandwich. Seat back if the guy. <laughs> seat back if, if the guy in front of me. Uh, I respect back. the move. Now, do you just. If you put the seat back, do you just drop it back, or do you give a peek behind you, see what's going on back there? Oh, you can't give a peek behind you. Then they own your soul. <laughs> wow, that's very true. You can't give them that power. Uh huh. Okay. If the guy in front of you is doing it, you can do it, and then they they have to shut the fuck up. Hmm. But you're not gonna look at them and be like, "Sorry, can I rape you with my seat right <laughs> now?" You can't. Like, come on. Just, that's ridiculous. Sure. All right. Uh, have you ever owned cargo sweatpants? No. Have you ever had a hoodie with the uh, hole for the thumb or the sleeve for the thumb? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yikes. Ever burned a jersey? Burned a jersey with like a blunt or something? No, no. Like, no, like in a fit of rage yeah. after your team lost. Oh, no, the no, guy no. Was okay. That is so funny. Yeah. Uh, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's trash. Do you wear shoes to the beach? <laughs> no, no, no. What's the credit so... card situation? You got an Amex? I have a a Chase Sapphire. Thing. That's up there. That's pretty but good. But I'm very. I'm not very good at these things. I'm not good at money. I'm like you know, like Jews are oftentimes categorized as money or book, and I'm both illiterate and not good at money. Do you read it all? The sports page. <laughs> <laughs> what am I, an asshole? The fucking sports page. I like Mike Lupica. I like the fucking like the box it. scores, maybe. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. I mean, I'd, uh, I've been listening to books. Okay. Oh, fair enough. What are you listening to right now? Um, I'm listening to The Power Broker right now. Ooh. I'm, tri But I'm not going to finish it. I've tried to start this What's book 70, 75 times. It's this book, uh, this guy... Robert Caro, he wrote this book about, um, he's like a famous historian. He wrote about this guy, okay. Robert Moses, who's like the guy who planned out New York City. Of course, Robert um, Moses. He was the uh, city planner under Mayor LaGuardia. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he kind of like the way New York, I mean, he like, he built a highway through the South Bronx and like yeah, 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 yeah. put them in uh, po like yes. poverty for the sure. next 50 yeah. years. Oh, I do know this book. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah, yeah. Built Long book. Island. So everyone's supposed to read this book or lie that they have read this book. And I've like tried to start it, I think, maybe 10 times. Do but now I'm like, if I listen to it, and it's 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 like a hundred and something hours. It's going to I'm not going to finish. If you have general knowledge of a book that you haven't read and someone says, hey, yeah. Adam, have you read this? Do you say yes? Yeah, of course. Good man. Yeah. Yeah. The movie? Come dude, on. Dude. I lie about it. I've, I've read about movie? two books and I fucking tell everybody dude, I'm I well read. I am such a liar. Yeah. I remember when Scary Movie came out in. Uh, <laughs> read the book? No, no, no. <laughs> the I, book's way better. I remember like kids in my class were telling, like, oh, and then that part in Scary Movie, and then they say the funny thing that happened. I would rem memorize. The funny thing, yeah. Mem memorize that from. From uh, like a uh, sure overhearing and not seeing the movie and then just repeating that to other people. Oh, that's that's really pathetic. Diabolical. I'm it's, fucking it's diabolical. Pathetic. I love it's it. It's very like sixth, seventh grade. Like yeah. very just trying to not get not, beat up. No, yeah, not be a freak. <laughs> sure. Just wanting to be cool and have seen scary movie. <laughs> that's all right. Mm. Any student debt? Yeah, still. Really? Yeah. Okay. But I'm, but I'm chilling. You're chill. Okay, I feel like, uh, yeah, I just keep it because I think it's good for your credit if you make regular payments. Got sure. There's something going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I right. think, I don't fucking know credit. I think that's what someone's told me. Do you know Talking your credit score? Talking to the wrong score? people. I haven't looked. I think it's all right. Okay. I don't know. Fair enough. I don't have any assets in my life. I don't have any equity in anything. I don't you know rent anything. now. I rent. You rent. 
What's yeah. a vacation look like now? Were you and the were you and the now new lady? Like, now, yeah, I went. We went to my uh, grandma's house. <laughs> we went to my grandma's house. <laughs> we literally did. We went to, <laughs> I took her to uh, to South Africa. You did. Yeah. yeah. All oh, right. I took her back to Wakanda with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I took her back to Wakanda. <laughs> I was like, these are my people. Told her you were a prince. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were king. We were kangs. <laughs> I we we was kangs. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. So I took. Yeah, we went back to South Africa, and then I'd never been to continental Europe before, so we went to France and Spain. Very it's nice. Very nice. It's very nice over it's there. Great. It's great. fucking awesome. It's really Big nice. Big fan. It's really, you know, it's just, it's very, it's very just nice. nice. It's just nice. the way they do it's it. Paris. Have the you been siesta? to Paris? Went for the fr- I've never been out of the country nice. before. Me and the, me and the lady went last year, uh, Christmas time, and it's it was... Nice. Nice. It's just like it's really Dude. we like to shit on them because the whole nine eleven oh, thing. Man, they, they they do a pretty good job. They I still order real, freedom fries. They do. They that's do. Just me. They do a real good job. The food is the food is crazy. Paris is magic. <laughs> this is what we're talking about on Are You Garbage? Yeah. <laughs> Have you Paris been to? France? Well, and also <laughs> it, he did take out a loan to go, so it, I love it, that. it does. I took out a loan to go to Hawaii. Oh, whatever. Paris, I paid you par late. Do you know Tommy Pope's Paris story? No, that, that he was gonna like leave America for the first time. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, so nine, he, on nine eleven. So we got a flight alone to Paris, and then nine eleven. Yeah, I do know that. I do know that. Shout out to Tommy. he probably hasn't left since. Has that is he? so Philly. That is just so <laughs> Philly. I'm gonna go to Paris alone. Oh fuck that! I gotta I get out now. of this town. <laughs> you hear what they did? He's looking at you with his demure right. face. That is the funniest story, dude. I still. I forgot. He just told that. me that not that long. I never ago. heard of it. One love of my that dear guy. friends. I yeah. love that guy. Shout um, out to Tommy. Do you know the acronym BOGO? No. B O G O. No, what is it? Buy one, get one. Oh, Bogo. really? You don't know that? That seems Man, regional. That's huge. That seems like that seems like Eastern Seaboard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even the way you said it, BOGO. <laughs> it's just I'm a Philly dirtbag. It bag. just sounds like Philly, Bogo? Maryland, sure. Delaware. Yeah. BOGO. <laughs> you, you know, you know, water. <laughs> yeah. You ever BOGO water, dude? <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> Yeah, all right. All right. Have That's you good. ever ordered a lumberjack special? Yeah, for sure. Your lumberjack guy? Yeah, as a boy. Hmm. As a boy. <laughs> what's <laughs> your what's your ultimate breakfast? Oh, okay. All right. Well, oh, okay. I don't want to blow this up cuz well, I've talked about it before in public. Lay it on us. I just have a concept. <laughs> I think it's going to revolutionize breakfast. I'm listening. Right? Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is going to stink, by the way. <laughs> Everyone hates it. Everyone hates it. Okay. I'm in. Okay, so you you have to make a choice. If you want a bagel, you got to make a choice between a savory egg bacon situation or a salty lox cream cheese situation. Sure. Right. Yeah. So my idea is a 50-50. Okay. Open face, half Lox, bagel, capers, onions. Okay. Tomato. I'm with you. The other half, soft scramble, eggs, and bacon. That's fucking okay, not crazy at all. Balls. I don't hate this. In, a, in a similar world, my wife does uh, bacon, I mean, egg, and cheese with cream cheese on it. That's well. That's really. Good. I've had that before. Yeah, too. it's really that's good. Really good. It gives you a little bit of both. That's yeah. a that's a nice plate at a place. You know what I'm saying? Like that's you all should right. be able to get both, right? And if you're alone in life, <laughs> sure, you, you don't have nobody to, to share it with. If you don't have a beautiful, sexy girl, you should be able to get a fifty-fifty. That's pretty good. If you had, a, if you had some kind of special, at, I'm going to start at Adam's fifty-fifty. Uh, bagel That's not bread. bad, man. If you had like six, you guys options. are. This is the most supportive anyone's ever been of my idea. We're going to make I think funny after you leave. Oh, okay, no, <laughs> I like it. Let's say you had six options. All right, you have six options of half it's bagels just, just that got you can big. pair it up with. That's all right. Yes. One could be a Benedict. Sure. One could be sweet cinnamon raisin, ba ba ba. You could, yeah, different combinations of a different half a bagel. Yeah, that's yeah. not bad. I mean, essentially, you could just make them ahead of time and just have like a bacon, egg, and cheese. Like if if there was enough demand, if you had, and you could just piece. No, them made to order. Made to order. Yeah, that's crazy. Made to order. This is what we're doing. We get the boys. We get the boys in the kitchen. We we get them. How you gonna fucking grinding? How you gonna time. what? As long as you How do you it, make a sandwich in a kitchen. As long as you, as long as you, <laughs> you do think it, we can't figure that out. You think they can't figure that out? As long as you We're do it, we're businessmen. If you have an even number of yeah. options, it's all going to work out. 
But, uh, and if there's on. leftover half bagels, that's in, what in I'm the saying. Air, there's going to be leftover. If I, you'll listen, t- chop them up, make them croutons. Right, we'll hey, run it as a special. Hey, relax there, fucking bagels on the brain. <laughs> Jesus, uh, that's the name right there. <laughs> bagels on the brain. Bagels on the brain. Yeah, the na- right, Nancy- you're in for twenty five. No, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> You're out. You'll be getting high on your own supply. That's we a no money. from you, dog. That's a no from me, dog. We need thirty grand for the initial investment. Yeah. Oh my Just God. to get some You're bagels and out, try them out. You're missing out. Yeah, yeah. My my family. Speaking of garbage, I just found out uh, from my uncle about my mom's mom. I always thought she was this posh lady. Mm-hmm. She always like was. Mm-hmm. She's like talk like that. Hoity toity. She's the one in San Diego. She was the one. No, she like. Uh, she no. She she ended up. She died in Vegas. Okay. She, she moved to Vegas. Um, she uh, he he said the funniest thing to me, like 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 poverty mindset. He was like, no, she was like, um, she had twelve brothers and sisters. They were all born in different cities because their family was were such trash. They kept getting kicked out of oh. every city in in South Africa. Like you know, like her parents came from the old country. Uh-huh. Uh, gotcha. She yeah, and um. They were they were so poor. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are gonna think this is funny, but when my uncle told me this, I was peeing my pants. They were so poor that they would throw their garbage uh, out of their window onto the street to brag to their neighbors that they had food. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that's an apple core. Don't you forget it. <laughs> we have apples. Talk about flexing. I like it. Yeah, yeah. That is. They were horse thieves, apparently. Uh-huh. And I just knew this lady as like, I, oh, my it. word. <laughs> yeah, she used to like talk like that. And There's no coming back. If you they're have horse, literally the like thieves. gypsies, yeah. they're peasants. That's all right. Shout that out to a horse so thief. So funny. I mean, I'm go- I, I have enough to render a decision here. I just got two more. Specifically based on horse thieves in your bloodline. I don't know. But Do you- that's all Jews. We're like, we just have the greatest comeback story of the 20th century. <laughs> we're like getting murdered by down. Cossacks. And then the Holocaust happened. And ponies. now we're now we're now we're controlling the, the Media weather. And yeah. the weather. <laughs> uh, I got two more. Bendy straw or regular straw? What would you prefer? Regular straw. Yeah. This is my most conservative position politically <laughs> okay i straw technology is just the most efficient way to drink okay you get the most water i'm fucking i i don't get these fucking liberals trying to take our fucking straws away uh-huh. i don't give a shit about the turtles okay i i, I am f- it made me furious the the paper thing drove me nuts Sucks. they stink it drove me fucking nuts and yeah I'm glad the straws are back. It seems like people have fucking... Yeah, we, we're, we're turning a blind eye. It seems like we won point. that. It seems like we won that, yeah. you know? It feels I like, like turtles. Don't get me wrong, but what the fuck? Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah. All right, so that 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 was one, and the other one, two more, actually. Yeah. Do you, have you ever had a Negroni? Yeah, mm. for sure. On a regular basis? I don't really like... I mean, like, when I've never had an alcohol and been like, ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, me either. You know, like I like I, I, I've gotten plenty drunk in my day, but I've never sure. been like this is. You know, like my girlfriend's like this wine is incredible, and I've been like, oh. yeah, it's a wine's lost it's on out, me. It's yeah. an alcohol. That's it's, pretty trashy. It's I like alcohol. it. <laughs> Last question: How often do you wash your hair? Uh, like two times a week. It just looks worse after I wash it. Yeah, no, I agree. And now I have to be beautiful for the camera. Of course. Yeah. Now I'm a talk. Got a big show, show. big talk show host. host of a fucking major talk show. What now are you I'm doing? a, now I'm a, you know, a titan of the industry. Of yes. course, <laughs> of course. You throw your trash out, so let everybody know. <laughs> I throw my eating. trash out. Yeah, that's a mean. half a bagel. Yeah, fuck. I have food. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Kip? I mean, I was going to give him the coin flip. He was right down the middle. I, it's tough. I mean, the fact that his parents still have a fucking standalone hot tub that doesn't work. Tough look. Tough look. And then the fact he comes from horse thieves. Tough look. I got him. I'll go 60-40 trash on, on the guy here. Yeah, you're trash, kid. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's trash. By the way, I lied about everything. <laughs> my my grandfather is CEO of the Iraq War. <laughs> I do have a feeling that you lied about everything. My family, and I kind of respect it. My family invented the opioids. <laughs> <laughs> my last name's Purdue, suckers. Got <laughs> the Sacklers. Throw my pills re- at us and run out. Friedland is a stage name. My real name is Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> the Fableman is all about me. I love that so movie so much. Did you see it? I have not. 
I turned to my girlfriend and I said, "This is my licorice pizza." Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hate it. It's one for pizza. the boys. It's one for the for the these. Okay. It's one for us. The I want to see it. I just haven't seen it. F- I loved it. So I saw much. everything everywhere all at once. I didn't see it. I that, that I heard it was doo doo. I loved it. It was you great. I tell you what, I did. I made the fucking big mistake of watching the whale the, uh, Sunday night. Well, on a biography. Night. What are we talking? Yikes. Oh, zing! Man, no bueno. Yeah, yeah. I heard it was a dog shit, but Tough Bra- look but for Brandon, fat guys. but Brandon, is he's brilliant amazing. in it. He's great, yeah. buddy. We love you, man. Yeah, Thank man, you so guys, much for coming it. in. Really fun. Uh, you got the Adam Freeland show. Anything else? Congratulations, you the folks out there guys, on the on the show. Thank oh, you. I don't know when does this come out. Uh, next week. Next yeah, week. Next okay, week. Yeah, yeah. I'm in Salt Lake next week. The following week, I'm in Salt Lake City at Wise Guys. Wise there guys. you go. The the Italian themed comedy club <laughs> of Salt Lake City. Shout out to Wise Guys. Yeah. Wise Guys. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, and gang, make sure you check out the Adam Friedland show on Patreon. Yeah. Patreon.com slash T A F S. Yeah, we got a lot of really big bookings coming up that we're really excited. I'm not shitting you. It's wild. It's really becoming a real show, and it's it's really it. It's, it's I don't awesome. understand. Like, people thought that we were like doing a. We decided Nick and I kind of made a conscious decision not to do like a ironic talk show, like, uh, like Eric, uh, Andre. I, I was yeah. gonna say Eric Adams, <laughs> <laughs> like Eric Andre. But we want to like ironically make it. T- we want like the two guys from the dumbest podcast of all time to accidentally make a real talk show. That's yeah. awesome. Well, you're right there. It seems. It looks We're fantastic. Yeah. It looks I mean, awesome. I think it's. I think it's coming together. It's been a. Uh, I saw this place and I was like. God fucking damn it. These guys put this together in 17 days. Like, <laughs> we're a fucking like we've Nick and I have like literally threatened to kill each other. Oh, well, we did that a lot. Yeah, Nine months. Think yeah. This was all moonlight and canoes. What do you mean? Look at this. This is this is beautiful. All guys. those Thank pictures you. are covering up holes in those walls. Congrats to you guys. This Thank you. Thank you, buddy. I'm, I'm really I love it here. Thank you. Man. Congrats yeah. to you as well. And we're Kip- neighbors. We're, we're just we're like uh, right down the street. Lunch. We're just down he the told street. us about a, a, a lunch spot. Yo, yo, yeah. Don't give it away. No, no, we're not going to tell these yeah. people. Yeah. We're not going to tell these people. Keep it between clowns. us. The lines will be out the door. Yeah, yeah. These what, do you, are, what do you got for them, uh, Guys, we're all over the road. Shows are selling out. We're adding second shows. Get your tickets uh, while they last. We appreciate it. Thanks. Come see us. We love you very much. Adam Freeland, one more time. Adam, yeah. we love you, buddy. Thank, Thank you, you boys. And we'll see you guys next week. Peace. Thank you.